In the summer of 2012, I conducted a mental advanced project, a map in the economics department at Grinnell College to analyze two aspects of the tax competition. My data set includes 30 countries from six regions. This spring of 2013, in a map in the mathematics and statistics department, we used R to visualize the data. We will first introduce you some terminologies that we have used. A multinational corporation, MNC, is a firm that operates in more than one country. Example, Apple Computer Company. Foreign Direct Investment, FDI, is a long-term type of investment from a foreign firm into another country. For example, Apple Company invests in Japan. A home country is the one whose firms send investment into another country. Example, the USA. A host country is the one that receives investments from another country. In our case, that is Japan. The statutory tax rate, STR, is the relevant marginal tax rates for shifting profits after an MNC used up its allowances in each location. Example, Japan's host tax rate. For our project, our main goal is to use data visualization tools in R to investigate the effects of the statutory tax rates on foreign direct investments. From both the animation in R and regression in Stata, we can see that the impacts of STR on FDI depend on the location of the host country. We will now show you an example of our final product. This final product is the case when the United States sends money to other countries. The bubbles represent all the countries receiving investments from the United States. The size of the bubbles demonstrates the population of that country. The color demonstrates which region in the world that country is from. For example, Japan is in the color of blue and it is from Asia. Below are possible movements of the bubbles. If the bubbles move northwest, we expect the host tax rate decreases, whereas FDI increases over the years. If it's a leftward horizontal movement, SDR decreases, but FDI remains stable. If it's a vertical upward shift, SDR stays the same, but FDI now we'll go into details about the effect of tax rate on foreign direct investment. We expect a negative relationship between statutory tax rate and foreign direct investment. If, stat, if STR is low, a multinational corporation only has to pay a small amount of tax to shift profits abroad, thus providing an incentive to invest abroad. Research has shown that host countries compete against each other over the tax rate to attract FDI. Now we will look specifically at African and Asian countries. Multinational corporations from home countries and from the U.S. is in particular look for low tax rates when investing in African and Asian countries. Therefore, a decrease in the SCR in Asian and African countries would likely increase their FDI. Visually, this would be represented by the bubbles moving to up and to the left over time, which is the northwest movement. Countries have not increased their STR, so we do not expect to see the movement down and to the right. Now we will look at uh, animation for African countries. In 1990s, most countries start from the bottom right. But in 2000s, we can see that countries move in the northwest direction, meaning that tax rate decreases, whereas FDI increases over the years. Now we look at animation for Asian countries. Asian countries show a very similar trend as African countries. Countries like Singapore, China, and Korea, they move into northwest directions, but there is one outlier, that is Japan. 
Now we go into the detail of the effect of the tax rate on foreign direct investment for European host countries. MNCs take into account other factors apart from the tax rate when investing in European countries. A decrease in the STR in an European country would not have a significant impact on the FDI. The movement of the bubble can be horizontal, i.e. a reduction in the tax rate and no reduction in the FDI, or vertical, no change in the STR and an increase in the FDI. Now let's look at the animations for European countries. You see United Kingdom and Netherlands they generally move nor to the north, while Germany generally moves to the west, but Switzerland and Ireland, they move into northwest direction. So there is no agreement in the movement patterns for European countries. Now we will show you the animation in which all the 29 host countries that receives FDI from the US are included. In conclusion, the four animations we just showed you focused on the United States as the home country. However, we also look at other home countries such as United Kingdom, France, and Germany. The data visualization agrees with the regression model for all home countries. The impacts of tax rate on FDI differ by the location of the host countries. When controlling on other factors like the growth in income and population, we still find this difference in the responsiveness of the U.S. investment uh, to statutory tax rate. So in this project and from this video, we want to give you an insight uh, about our project in which we use data visualization in R to help searchers to see the trend.